But to this question about Hamas, when you've seen 30,000 Palestinians killed, why wouldn't they lay down their arms right. and stop that bloodshed? Why wouldn't they lay down their arms and, and stop the war? If they truly care about the thousands and thousands of civilians who have been killed in a war that Hamas started, so remember who started this war, if that was in their real interest, the well-being of the Palestinian people, I'm hard-pressed to answer why they wouldn't lay down their arms and pursue a demilitarization option when you have the United States and other countries in the region saying, we are prepared to step forward and work on a legitimate political path forward for the Palestinian people. Not one that's brought about by terrorism, not one that's brought about by violence, but a legitimate political path that leads to an independent Palestinian I mean, state. And lastly, I'm, I'm sorry, but just to, to push this point a, a, a bit further, uh, the Palestinians basically said, okay, we lay down our arms. They've done it uh, time and time again. They recognized Israel. They signed treaties Hamas and so on with them. You know, uh, Hamas said they will abide by the, I mean, let's not, you know. Hamas won't even very sign up to the principles issues. of the PLO. So. But I'm saying that what we're saying is there has been a Palestinian effort that has failed. I mean, people look, whether it's Hamas or somebody else, they look at 30 years of effort to, to arrive at the resolution that the United States has signed to, and in fact, sponsored in 1993, huh? and it has gone nowhere. We see the settlements expand. We see the, the occupation uh, become more violent against the Palestinians. People are more imprisoned and so on. So if people continue to look at the past and only the past that has happened for decades and decades without uh, being willing to sign on to a positive vision of the future, we will never have a peaceful way out of this conflict. Not just the, the current conflict in Gaza, uh, but an actual resolution to the long-standing uh, conflict between Israel and Palestinians. Well, but the problem with that, Matt, is that you have called for in every single that, conflict around the world there to be accountability for things that have happened in the past. And now you're saying, oh, well, just no. what about it?